Anyway, you look beautiful today. Well, thank you. And not that you don't every day, but there's something about your eyes today. I don't know what it is. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. Mm. And I don't know if you're sitting. You feel good there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was going to move you. Yeah, forward. I tried our um, mascara today, but uh, whoever used the samples last didn't close it up. And so the mascara was kind of dry. Oh. And I couldn't really get it on my eyelashes. But... Well, I, you know, I'm a bit of a germaphobe, but I wouldn't share mascara. Yeah. I don't care about things like that. No. You're watching too much Larry David. It's <laughs> a germaphobe thing. I, I identify with Larry David. I get it. <laughs> Anxious to interact with uh, Papa. Arab guy. Or whether they don't like it. Okay? I don't, I don't know. know. If there's any ex harem people watching, okay, <laughs> just hit us there either Instagram well, or Facebook. Isn't that book uh, I, I read? I think it's the same one you read called The Saudis. I don't remember. And uh, it, it described that. So we don't know the answer to that. We think we know the answer to everything. We don't know the answer to that. Huh. So someone knows the answer. Okay. 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 I'm gonna go check the screen to, go, see, to okay. see if someone has the. Yeah. Doesn't he look great? Mm. Anyway, today is makeup day. The husband of the late Suzanne Somers has been sharing details of the actor's final moments before she passed away on Sunday, one day shy of her 77th birthday. We were in bed together, and her breathing was erratic, and I had been talking to her for hours. Her husband said. There was no response except when I kissed her, she responded, and then, around five o'clock in the morning, she was gone. Somers had an incredibly love story spanning half a century with Amor. The Three's company actress spent 55 years with her longtime partner. The couple were together, married for 46 of those years, and their love endured even through her 23-year-old battle with an aggressive form of cancer. Hamer said that he knew the end was near in the hours before she died on Sunday. Before she passed, Hamer wrote her a gushing love letter. He gave it to her a day early, ahead of her birthday, and he read the poem aloud for her. She was initially diagnosed with skin cancer in her 30s and then battled breast cancer in 2000. This past summer, she had revealed that she had received another cancer diagnosis. Her adoring husband supported her through it all. Just three days before her death, Somers had been with cancer specialists in Chicago and seemed to be doing better. She was eating and was talking and taking her medicine. But then, after returning home, things took a turn for the worse. All of a sudden, she wasn't responding and she wasn't eating, and she wasn't taking her medication. As I know her so well, I thought, I wonder if I should call 911. And I knew that she wouldn't want to, and I knew that she didn't want to go to hospital. Hemo said that he hopes his wife will be remembered for being a good mother and helping those around her. We wouldn't have this family today if it wasn't for her. She did things that nobody would know about. I would hear her on the phone, talking people down and ensuring that everything's going to be okay and she tried to respond to everybody. The couple did not have any children together but had blended their families into a loving strong unit. Somers is survived by her son Bruce Somers Jr. 57 from her previous relationship. Hamer also has two adult children son Stephen and daughter Leslie from his first marriage to Marilyn Hamer. May her soul rest in peace and our condolences goes out to her husband and their family and all the fans out there. Um, we know that she is in a better place. We know that she was loved and it's a very beautiful thing that her husband was able to demonstrate how much he loved her and wrote her a love letter just before she passed on. So that's such a beautiful thing. So may her soul rest in peace. Yesterday I lost a battle Trying at all costs, oh To keep you, baby Oh, to keep 
Behind you, and now I wonder why won't you? Come 